So why do people feel so tired after a big spiritual experience? Hey guys, it's John here in the studio on an extremely cold day outside. And there's this white snow all over the place. You can see when I pull my curtain back how bright it is out there because of the snow. Um, I wanted to hop on and and answer this this comment that came on the on the page. Um, let me just read it out to you and and we'll talk about it. I had an experience yesterday morning while meditating. I felt my hands hit the table beside, and that's when I realized my hands had lifted on their own. I had put this question out there: What's this experience? Also, the whole day I was tired and sleepy, sort of exhausted, unable to concentrate on my work. I'd appreciate it if you could throw out some light on why we feel exhausted after such an experience. Absolutely, I can throw it out. So this is a, gr this is a great one because people feel exhausted after these experiences because they're not fully into the experience. Um, you know... Recently, I did a video on someone who felt their arms floating, but their arms were not were actually not floating. It was actually their their arms being out of sync with their physical arm. Um, in your case, you were you were almost out of your body, but you took your physical arm with you. And when you felt it hit the table, that's because it had raised. It had it, it, you literally were not fully phased into body, so it it raised. Now, why why would you feel tired after something like that? You would feel tired after something like that because your body is not um, – because it, it's not an easy transition. You're not one or the other. You're working through process. And a lot of times when we're working through process, my own belief systems can actually be a detriment to you know having that full release. And what's interesting is we get out of phase like that. You know, It takes energy. It takes physical energy to do that and physical meaning, meaning – because of our belief systems being of the physical, that they are then creating the physical experience. So, you you know you have this experience now. Did I have I ever had this experience where I'm exhausted afterwards? Yeah, the biggest one. If you watch the video on my channel called "The Story I Wasn't Going to Tell," I sl slept for 23 hours after that event. Um, and the point of that the point of that story is that that. In, when I was going through that process, and if you if you watch that video, you'll notice that I was having this big out-of-body out of sort of spiritual experience, but there was a man standing there talking to me. And so I wasn't – I was not fully phased in either direction. I didn't go completely out. I didn't, I didn't st and I stayed completely in. And so it was like a – it was like a, a, a struggle – it was a, a struggle between physical and spiritual. And the struggle between physical and spiritual tires the body. And so you have this experience of being worn out after the fact because you weren't fully just letting go and going. Uh, had you fully let go and, 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 were, and going, your arm would not have dropped to the table and, and hit. So there, there's this, this concept. To, to be tired is to be of the physical. To be free and loose and, and immersed in love, there's no... There's no tired on the other side. And I say that only from my experience, but there's no tired on the other side. Tired is of here. So it had to be something in the physical world that was affecting you, your body in the physical world. And so your body was not completely releasing your higher self. And so the experience became an exhausting one. And I hope that makes sense to you in this moment because I know that when you're when you're first having these experiences, um, it's it often comes to a place of trying to figure out what they all mean. But you know, the reality of it is is that the more you have the experiences, the less you'll have the tiredness because the more you personally will come to trust the experience, trust is developed by results over time. You know, each one of us has to go to our own space. And each one of us has to go to our own place. And each one of us is on our, on our own spiritual journey. And so as you become aware of the fact that you don't have to be afraid, you don't have to, you know, the, that moment of letting go of the body is the, is, can be the hardest moment in that experience. But the reality of it is, is that 
that's only because in the physical we believe it's hard. And so it's a matter of just going, I am. I mean, that, and when I had my first Kundalini Rising, someone told me, well, not, not someone. When I had my first Kundalini Rising, I heard the voice tell me, relax into it. Just let go. Exhale. And just say, I am. And you'll have this experience, and it'll be much less tiring. That I promise you. The physical world does tire you. And, you know, that's why I, t I needed that vacation just recently. Because the physical world was tiring me. The spiritual stuff doesn't tire me. The physical world does. So that's my thought on this. I hope it makes sense to you. And uh, you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.